So, 10 best memories of the dudes in lives. So far! Let's check them out. Number 10 is... on our list is... It's top one of my most painful moments <laughs> in my mind. <laughs> I still see nightmares of that. Yukka still sleeping. We're gonna hit him in the balls with baseball bat. <laughs> I still owe you for this. I mean, I don't think that's fair. It has to be a holy moment when man is sleeping. You can't hit him into the balls. That's so unfair. There is nothing holy in this world. <laughs> 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 it hurts so bad. I mean, when you get hit to the balls, you can feel the pain up your stomach and your... It hurts everywhere so bad. I feel you, man. I've hit my balls a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should talk about number nine. Driving in the wrong lane on the highway. You have to have a kicker. That's how we came up with the idea. The death jump. It was a good thing, I mean, we did a a live stunt for the people, there was over uh, 5,000 people Watching around us and our cheerleaders. I'm gonna destroy Arno! I'm gonna destroy Yuka! I'm gonna destroy the trailer! Crash! Pedal to the metal! Ah! It was scary because I've broken my back twice before and again when I did this when I landed at the car it just I felt a stinging pain through my spine and my left leg went all numb so I can't get the door open When I ran to the car and uh look you can the face he was just all pale and I got a little scared because I really care for you believe it or not <laughs> <laughs> Norway. I don't know what those whale lovers were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess they don't appreciate our humor. <laughs> yeah. Has it been snowing? You yeah, know what was funny? When we got out from the cabin, all the uh, other cabins had all the people lined up in front of the street and the security guys were running at us because the fire alarm rang in all of the cabins. What happened and which cabin was it? And we were like all innocent. No, it wasn't us. It was an accident. Let's just say that it was an accident. What's happened here? That, 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 this thing, all of a sudden this explodes. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, I can see that too. Excuse me. You Give me that or I call the police. Hey, I call the I police have... if I don't. We did nothing. It just blew off. No, I don't think so. I want that. Hey, hey, hey you can't do that. I can do that. Why? Because this is the evidence. Listen. Can you show me no. what happened? Show me now. Like this. I own this place. 
Which Step one is away. number seven? I mean, you know how everybody has one of those bullies in their neighborhood. The old guy who's all grumpy and yelling yeah, at the kids numbers. and don't let them play yeah, yeah. on the field or make any noise. So Mr. Hitler is definitely one of those guys. So Mr. Hitler... <laughs> Mr. Hitler is at work and we are at his yard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mr. Lion's digging a hole. Yeah. <laughs> this is the final stunt that we did on him before we got caught. <laughs> Speed up, will you? Yeah. All right, let's move the shit out. Yep. We've been shooting us for three hours now. Just turn off the camera. We are gonna kill all the batteries. <laughs> That was actually one of the longest days of my life. We waited him so many hours that I, I was actually going to give up. Yeah, but we would have missed all this fun. <laughs> For a while, at this moment, I thought we went too far. But uh, we didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we, we forgot to cover our license plate and he saw it when we were driving away on a getaway car and he figured out whose car it was. And... But that is one of the best moments in my life, really get back to that guy. And the next one is not my favorite, but, but I have a good reason not losing any weight. <laughs> because if I lose some weight, then I might die. <laughs> yeah. Number six is human dartboard. That's my favorite, because I always get to throw the darts. <laughs> and you suck at it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> once I've thrown a dart to his belly button and once to his nipple, so <laughs> that's how much of a good on aimer I am. Throw darts at him. He has a goal right here. Who's gonna win? Damn! <laughs> it's actually nice to see people from the United States to come over here in Finland and uh, throw me with darts. <laughs> that's 10 points! <laughs> yeah, that's the right. Oh, three points! Three to time, ready? Here we go. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, hey, is all I need is a five to win. Oh, I won! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, woo! That's nice going. I just happened to Let be kick ass game. at darts. Concentrate that, and what number comes next? Five. That's correct! We just decide this is not the moment for sleeping. <laughs> Jarno had been editing our DVD for a couple of days, or nights in a row, <laughs> and uh, had finally fallen asleep to the couch, and we <laughs> decided to give him a little wake-up call. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know. Ha ha ha!
Flipped out the Arnold running behind you with the chain, so you never know what's gonna happen. Most likely he's gonna hurt himself. <laughs> Cut his own arm off. <laughs> he was just calling after us then. Okay guys, I'm not mad anymore. We're just hey man, you went too far. <laughs> Done a little overreacted. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, Jarno needs some anger management courses, but the RP would definitely need some driving school. Especially <laughs> less on how to use handbrake. <laughs> yeah. What's the RP this? <laughs> uh, that's Jukka's neck breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays we call the RP Mr. Handbrake. <laughs> During that summer we broke like five or six cars, and most of the cars are broken down by RP. Tultihi, se on sillä viiste, että tago kaud neina on maisem. Hey, auto! Mä oon käsijarru päällä! Fuck the fucking hand, Frank! I think we need more than one car to pull it up over there. <laughs> so Jarpi, how are you gonna fix this problem? I'm out of ideas. <laughs> is the handbrake on? <laughs> yeah, it is now. I think if we just give it a little push, we can get it safely downhill. It's muzzle bower, you know? <laughs> My car! My car! <laughs> I think this is a bullseye. <laughs> it's a gift for you. Hey, thank you, man. For some nice driving. Yeah, this is license for driving Mercedes. After that, the car actually moved for like five kilometers. Then it broke down into the middle of the street. That's a wrap. <laughs> Three. Number three. Yeah, it's a great moment of my life. It's actually something that <laughs> that I built works. <laughs> We're pulling a joke on Yukka. We uh, fixed this outhouse a little bit so that uh, when Yukka sat down and we pulled the trigger, he fell on his back in his shit. Uh, me and Yaron, we just decided that uh, today Yukka is so gonna get it. There should be a law in, in the world that when man goes and has a shit, that's the moment you can't do anything to him. That has to be a peace moment. Yeah, are you telling that that's the holy moment? That's the holy moment, taking a dump. Not in our ranch. <laughs> So number two is my 10 seconds in a spotlight. No, it's not you, it's your leg. Yeah. <laughs> How can you land on water and break your leg? <laughs> <laughs> it's really easy for us to break bones because we have uh, VIP cards to the hospital and all the doctors know us, so it's like going home. All the doctors know HP and all the nurses know me. <laughs> We 
actually argued and did all those games that who gets to do it. Yeah, and HP got to do it. And then he screws up. He's supposed to jump all the way to the other door. Why he broke his ankle was when he landed, the motorbike came to water first and HP landed on the motorbike, on his ankle and broke his leg. It took over 20 minutes for the ambulance to get there, so he's getting really into some serious pain. <laughs> The surgeon was pretty funny because he was all, okay, so you can't really break a leg any more worse than this guy has. And after that, he was just like, when is this coming out of the field? You have a good relationship with the, with the hospitals in Finland, pretty much. Go ahead, you guy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> YARP can throw a hell of a cooking school if you guys want. Just call 1-800-YARP's cooking school. <laughs> <laughs> so the number one trick is... Hey guys, let's grill some food! Okay, here goes the chair. We were hungry, so Yarpi was all, well, I can be a chef, I'll throw a barbecue party in our library. He has a good fire over there. I'm gonna cook myself some sausage. Yarpi, this is actually your first good idea. Yeah, if you wouldn't open the window, it wouldn't be that bad. The burning gases just exploded and got all the oxygen from the window, it just got out of hand. the fire department came over there and they were like, oh, surprise, surprise, whose house is this? No problem. The fire sounds like a women to tame. Welcome to my sauna. So thank you fans, those were the top 10 moments of the Dutons, the first season, but the story is just starting. Check out our website and you'll see what's happening next. Thank you very much for supporting us, it's a great thing for us that you check out the Dutons. Yeah, see you guys, and that's a wrap!